What's up, 31 fam? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Shop 31, reviews and reactions. I hope you're having a good day today. This is a special one, all right? As you might be able to tell, the camera's at a different angle. I'm feeling a little self-conscious right now. I'm standing up instead of sitting down. Different shelf behind me because this is something I've been asked about a lot, all right? I've been asked to show you guys my entire movie collection. It is a large collection, at least to me. It's over 1,200 movies personal in my house, and then I got about by 4,000 at my store that I consider my own collection. But this is my personal stuff. It's about 1,200 movies. Um, so I'm gonna go over this. This will be a four part series. This will be part one, obviously. And uh, this will be all of my non-horror movies because that's one shelving unit. I got the rest of my stuff is all horror. So um, let's jump right into it because this is gonna be a long video. So thank you so much for your time. I very much appreciate it. Before we get any further, make sure that you like the video. Make sure you comment on the video. I wanna know what you collect, what you have, what you want me to have. Is there a movie that you need me to have? I like having things, especially movies. So uh, let me know in the comments. We've got merch, we've got Patreon, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So if you wanna support the channel, that is a good way to do it. If that's not your, your bag, cool man welcome to 31 fam hop on this train with us we're gonna be on a journey baby so um yeah man it's been a wild wild couple weeks i was thinking about doing some of these uh videos standing up so let me know if you like this i need to fix this with the angle and everything but um yeah the lighting angles that all needs to be worked on again but i like standing up man it's hurting my back sitting down for long periods of time and we're dropping videos every day now so uh yeah well this is a clearly a and this goes down way down below here and I think it goes, no, it goes all the way to the top shelf, but there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, there's three, four, four more shelves. So this only shows you half of the shelf. So let's jump in, let's try to get this going. We'll start with the, let's start with, let's start at the bottom. Let's start with my Nicolas Cage collection. That's my favorite actor. And I don't have all of his movies. I've got about maybe a quarter of them. You know, he's got a ton of movies, dude. But let's start with his stuff and we'll go from there, all right? Man, this is crazy. So we've got, a score to settle with Mr. Nick Cage. We've got Bad Lieutenant, uh, what is this one? Port of Call, New Orleans. This is a movie that shouldn't be good, but it is. All right, this is a very good one. Sorry, I'm getting used to staring into the, <laughs> the right spot. Color Out of Space, one of my favorite movies of the past decade, man. This is one of my favorite horror movies, period. We've got Drive Angry, a movie that shouldn't be good, and it is. He's got a lot of those. Uh, and if you guys notice, a lot of people get mad when you have an unopened Blu-ray. Man, first off, I watch movies all over the place, all kinds of ways, and I've got all the streaming services. So, if it's unopened, uh, I'll let you know if I haven't seen it. Um, but if it's unopened and I don't mention that I haven't seen it, just trust that I've watched it elsewhere, okay? Face Off. We've all seen Face Off, and if you haven't, what are you doing? Dude, stop this video and go watch Face Off. Fast Times Ridge Ridgemont High. There's a lot of movies that you're gonna be like, Nick Cage is in that? This is his first movie ever, I believe. Actually, his first one might have been Rumblefish, which is coming up here in a minute. We got The Frozen Ground with John Cusack and old Nicky Cage. We got Ghost Rider, one of the worst movies of all time. He's not even bad in it. It's just a shitty movie. <laughs> We've got Gone in 60 Seconds, the remake. I actually really enjoyed this one. It's the only movie that I like Angel Angelina Jolie in. Uh, Grand Isle, here's one that I have not watched yet. It's got Kelsey Grammer and Nick Cage. I hear good things. I hope it's as good as I hear it is. Joe, I have heard of this. I have watched this rather, and it is very, very good. I also have a top 10 Nick Cage movies video coming pretty soon. Kick-Ass, one of his best roles ever, dude. He was like the quirky Batman. Uh, Kill Chain, this is actually a really good movie. Uh, man, some of his stuff has got no business being good, and it is, absolutely is. This is a bloody gory mess. <clears throat> Let's see here. We've got Leaving Las Vegas, another one of his gems. This might be on his top two or three movies of all time. Um, we've got Lord of War, also one of his better movies. Well, Lord of War is good just in general. We've got Mandy, a movie that I used to hate and now love. See, folks, you can change your mind. All these guys out there mad about Spirit Box and Ginger. I can change my mind. Maybe I won't. Maybe the bands will suck forever. Actually, the last Spirit Box song was excellent, dude. It's called... Uh, I can't remember, it starts with a C. Anyways, very, very, very good song. Matchstick Men. This is a phenomenal flick, man. If you don't like Matchstick Men, we're not friends. <clears throat> Sorry, turn the microphone. 
Mom and Dad, surprise hit with Selma Blair. Gosh, she's so pretty. My goodness, is that a good looking woman. National Treasure 2 pack. Man, you gotta love this stuff. If you're a fan of Indiana Jones, well, National Treasure is the better version of that. Primal, I'm, I'm kidding, okay? Don't fucking jeez, Lord. Primal, uh, this is one that I have not watched yet. Got digital in there. I do some giveaway stuff. Giveaway stuff. Raising Arizona, a movie that is... This is a really good movie. Very, very, very funny. I bought this one once, and when I got it, and I opened it up, it was sealed. I opened it up, it was the wrong movie. As a matter of fact, it was a Steven Seagal movie. You know how ripped off I felt? The Rock, R.I.P. Sean Connery. Excellent, excellent movie. Rumblefish, all right? This is by S.E. Hinton. The book is, same author of The Outsiders. The Outsiders is one of my favorite movies. I'm getting Stay Gold tattooed on my neck somewhere really soon. <clears throat> Oh, in Rumblefish, if you like The Outsiders, this is the similar kind of stuff, but it's got Matt Dillon, Mickey Rourke, Diane Lane, Dennis Hopper, Nick Cage, Chris Penn, and Tom Waits. Yo, I've got two copies of this, Blu-ray and Steelbook. This shit is fire. Running with the Devil. Running with the Devil. I haven't watched this yet, but Larry Fishburne's the shit, son. Morpheus is like, oh, play games, fool. He's like, I said... They said, would you rather do a John Wick movie or a Nick Cage movie? He said, fuck yeah, give me Nick Cage. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, where he plays Spider-Man Noir. Excellent, excellent movie. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. The Trust, a movie that y'all haven't heard of probably. It's got Elijah Wood and Nick Cage. This movie is like a 9 out of 10. This movie is almost perfect. It's amazing. I love this movie. came out of nowhere. I almost didn't watch it because the cover art's so fucking bad. Wild at Heart, here's one that I have not watched that I wish I had already. Laura Dern, or you know what? I might have seen this and I just have, I just, I honestly, I can't remember. I don't think I've seen it. Laura Dern, there's something weirdly sexy about that woman. Wind Talkers, it's about farts. It's a crazy movie. <clears throat> All right, here's his DVDs. Where was that with Nick Cage, everybody? Got 8mm, dude, come on. Classic, classic, uh, man, who directed this one? This was, a. Uh, Dude, James Gandolfini's in this, Joaquin Phoenix. Ooh, buddy. Oh, Schumacher, Joel Schumacher. R.I.P. Joel Schumacher, that's, that's sad. Uh, adaptation, a movie I saw a long time ago. I need to bust this open and watch it again. Man, I don't wanna watch so many of these movies, dude. I love this stuff. Bangkok Dangerous. Bangkok right. Bringing Out the Dead. All right, I got that cover. And this cover, I collect movies, okay? I love this stuff, and this is a relatively hard to find one. I don't even know if there's a Blu-ray available of it, but it's a weird-ass movie. That's one of his better movies. If, you, if you're a fan of Nick uh, Cage, check out Bring Out the Dead. Captain Corelli's Mandolin. One movie that I'm not in any hurry to watch, but it's a Nick Cage movie, so I want to own it. Dude. Con Air, dude. Condi's ball, son. This is the jam. And The Family Man. Fuck yeah, dude. Really, really good movies. Oh my goodness, so much Nicolas Cage. That's what she said. <laughs> it could happen to you. It could happen to you too, guy. Uh, let's see, Nick Cage, Bridget Fonda. Oh yeah, lottery thing where she's the, the waitress. Yeah, dude. Golly, she was pretty, wasn't she? Still is, probably. Next, I haven't seen this movie in a hot minute, but it was pretty good when I watched it. Jessica Biel looking badass. Julianne Moore just turned 60, bro. She's so hot. Dude, she's like the hottest 60-year-old I've ever seen in my life. I haven't watched that movie in a long time, but I've always thought Julianne Moore was just kind of like low-key, freckly faced pretty man. Season of the Witch. This says Nick Cage, and then underneath it says Ron Perlman. I didn't know Ron Perlman was in this, so clearly I haven't watched it. It's on my short list now. I gotta, you know what? I'm watching this shit tonight. Snake Eyes, baby. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. No thanks, but J. Beer, uh, Burchell just did a movie called, uh, I don't remember, but it was good. Ooh, The Weatherman, that's also a good movie. It's a weird movie. Dude, he does some weird stuff, man. Nick Cage is awesome. The Wicker Man, uh, the superior of the two. And World Trade Center. That concludes my Nicolas Cage section, folks. Sorry for the uh, crazy cage section, but that's my dude right there. I rock with Nick Cage. <clears throat> so, all right, we're going to go with DVDs now. We'll start with A, N with Z, then we'll go up to Blu-rays, and then I'll let you guys go and talk to you all again soon for my 
horror DVD section part two. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness, I got so many DVDs. All right, oof, 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 okay. Three tender humor. Five, ooh, five deadly venoms, bro. Come on, dude. Oh, I gotta love that old school martial arts stuff, right? Sorry, I should put these somewhere else. Let me, let me. I didn't, pre I didn't prepare for this very well. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, 88 minutes with Mr. Ali Pacino. <clears throat> ooh, 3,000 miles of Graceland, dude. Low key. Excellent, excellent movie. Dude, Kurt Russell, Kevin Costner, Elvis impersonators. I got a black Elvis in here, which, I mean, I'm inclusive. Let's do it. I mean, shit, he stole their music, didn't he? Jeez. A Man Apart. I hate Vin Diesel, but this is a good movie. Oh. Above the Law and Hard to Kill. Steven Seagal, two-pack. Man, double your punch right there. Double your fun, son. Uh, bad Turn Worse. I actually kept the rental stickers on this. I love rental stickers. Um, yes, that's awesome. Ooh, Battle Royale. You'll see this pop up a, a couple of times. We've got multiple copies of that movie. Being John Malkovich. How about being these nuts? I'm a giant kid, man. Ooh, bitch slap. Speaking of, I love movies like this. Oh, no. Uh, Black Dahlia. From the director of Scarface. The most overrated movie of all time. Fucking hate that movie. Blade Runner 2049. I haven't watched it. But I love Ryan Gosling. I got like a man crush on him. And it's got the girl that was in, uh, she's in, uh, oh man. She's in Knock Knock and she's also in, uh, Knives Out. Oh, she's so beautiful. And Jared Leto. God, I can't stand that smug prick. I've been called a smug prick recently. Is that accurate? Who knows? It might be. It probably is. And Harrison Ford's grumpy old ass. I feel like Harrison Ford and I. I like the same kind of person. That's probably not a good thing, is it? Uh, blood in, blood out, bro. Oops, sorry. Putting it at the microphone. Uh, dude. Man, what a great gang movie. From the director of The Devil's Advocate. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. Uh, blood Simple. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. Yeah, I probably will. This is a really great movie. This was done by... Who was this one? Oh, yeah, it was a Coen Brothers movie. Man, some of their stuff, I don't even realize is their stuff, you know? Y'all are probably seeing all these movies on the wall like, I see what's coming up next, I don't need to watch this, boo. Boiler Room, again, Vin Diesel, man. But uh, young Vin Diesel was tolerable, old Vin Diesel's a douche. Y'all like, man, young Randall was tolerable, old Randall's a douche too. I'm like, word up. Brick, phenomenal noir flick, dude. This has got Joseph Gordon-Levitt, oh, man, when he was young too. This is a really good movie. I should do a breakdown of this one soon. Hey, help me out here. If I do break down some movies, do y'all care if I spoil stuff in them? Because that would make my videos much better, in my opinion. So let me know what you think, because I, I don't want to do something y'all don't want me to do. Um, the Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. I don't know why this isn't under A. We'll fix that. But, dude, I mean, it's got Bruce Campbell in it. One day, one day I will get Bruce Campbell on my show. <laughs> y'all are like, yeah, right. Broken Arrow, dude. John Travolta and Christian Slater. Oh, man. Dude, this is like... The golden age of cinema for me. I know some of y'all are shaking y'all's head right now. Broken Flowers with Bill Murray. We got uh, Brother, a film by Takeshi Kitano, a Yakuza spectacular. Violent, bloody movie, but it's got Omar Epps in it. That's actually the reason why I saw it. Like, I recognized him and I was like, what is this? And you know how them uh, rappers and all them fellas try to be doing uh, kung fu movies? I fuck with that, man. Wu Tang. Come on, break. We'll be calling this the 31 Chambers in this office because that's what my boy Chris Hayes came up with and I, I fuck with that. Chow Yun Fat, City of uh, City of Fire, the uh, inspiration behind um, Reservoir Dogs. A lot of this shit was stolen from Reservoir Dogs. Oh, a lot of the best parts of this were stolen from Reservoir Dogs. Admittedly, by Quentin. But, I mean, he did it better, in my opinion. Dude, check this out. Clint Eastwood, man, uh, Magnum Force, excuse me, Magnum Force, Dirty Harry. But look at this slipcover. How cool is that? Dude, so pretty. And then it's also got uh, Dirty Harry. Um, and they both have different actual spots with the bullet holes. I want to find the rest of these, even though they're DVD. I, I like that, man. I don't care. DVD is still okay. I prefer Blu-ray over all of it, honestly. But Collateral, just watched this with the wifey recently. One of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. Now, we're trying to run through these, but this is a long video. My apologies. 
Uh, collateral damage with Arnold's Arnold. Cruel intentions, dude, man. Oh my goodness. Ryan Felipe. Man. <laughs> um, I mean, he's a handsome fellow, but that is not at all. Um, it's got Jennifer, uh, no, excuse me, Sarah Michelle Gellert and Reese Witherspoon. Man, both those girls have just opposite looks and they're both gorgeous. Commando with Arnold. Woohoo, I'm going Commando right now. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Deer Hunter. I don't even like this movie. Why did I keep this? You know what? I haven't seen this movie in like 15 years. I'm gonna, I need to give this one another shot. I absolutely... You know what it is? I cannot stand... Uh, what's her freaking name? Um, the arrogant chick, dude. The one that's always talking about how she's better than everybody. Uh, Meryl Streep. I freaking hate her, man. But we've got the Die Hard 4 film collection. I need to replace this with Blu-rays. But it's got the only four movies that I care about in that series, so... Domino, with the blockbuster tag still on it. Um, I think this one belonged to Chris, dude. If it did, appreciate it, bro. I'm keeping this motherfucker right here. Um, I love this movie. Violence, all right? Michael Douglas, don't say a word. I won't say a word. Is this got um, Brittany Murphy in it? Dude, I have a huge, or I you know, did, huge crush on Brittany Murphy, man. She is so pretty to me. Oh, bro, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Classic son. I'm doing a series of videos called My Story. It's about my story. So if you're interested in that, let a dude know. Uh, Edge of Darkness. I love Mel Gibson. He's one of those crazy dudes that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love. Um, this one's called Edge of Tomorrow. Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. Man, all the movie stars are hot, aren't they? And Emily Blunt's all right, too. I keep going that way, don't I? Um, Tom Cruise is wild, dude. That dude's crazy. Emily Blunt is easy top ten of all time for me. End of Days with Arnold. I've got a lot of Schwarzenegger stuff. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Expendables. I fuck with Expendables, dude. Like, uh, I'm more of a Schwarzenegger than I am Stallone fan, but, dude, Expendables was cool, man. And I didn't really get it when it first came out. I get it now. Falling Down with Michael Douglas. Also, Russell Crowe did a movie that's called Falling Down. It's the same movie. It's not really. I'm just I'm being stupid. Fargo. Oh, so good. Frances McDormand. Also, when she was young, she was a smoke show. Jackie Chan's Second Strike. Third Strike, you're out, Jackie. Uh, one of my earliest m memories is uh, going to the theater down in... Uh, I guess it was like Bel Air. Chinatown, basically. And I was with my dad, and I had these Ninja Turtle pizza snacks. And we went and saw two movies that day. It's the first time I ever saw breasts, like boobs, in a movie. I went, we went and watched. First, we watched Jackie Chan's Rumble in the. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start crying thinking about this. I miss my dad, man. He died when I was like 16 or 17. Uh, we saw Rumble in the Bronx, and then we stayed and watched Double Impact with Jean Claude Van Damme. And in that movie, there's a naked lady in the shower, I believe. And uh, yeah, my dad was like, "Don't tell your mom we saw this." But um, my dad and I, he, we used to go out and watch them dollar flicks and little quarter movies and stuff. But that's how I got into movies was my dad. My dad was a movie fan. Like, I got into punk rock and stuff, music, on my own. Um, actually, my brothers. But my dad was a movie guy. Like, my mom would tell me all the time, yeah, your dad had hundreds of movies. I'm like, yeah, I remember. We had VHS collections. We each had our own DVD, uh, v VCR. I remember one year for Christmas, my dad took me to Target and handed me like 400 bucks. I was, dude, when he, if he died when I was 16, that's uh, that was 22 years ago. Uh... That must have been 10 years, 12 years old, somewhere there. Give me like 400 bucks at Target. It was like, buy whatever you want. And I went and bought a VCR. And I bought like, I think four or five CDs, but I bought just, I loaded up my cart full of movies. I got I had the best Christmas ever. And my mom was furious because she works harder than my dad. And I liked his presents better because I was a stupid idiot kid. But, dude, memories. I got stories for days, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. You're going to have so much fun watching my story stuff. The uh, following the very first Christopher Nolan movie, man. Uh, good stuff. Weird fucking movie, though. We got four brothers. I want to be the fifth brother. Mark Wahlberg. Dude, Mark Wahlberg. Low-key, one of my favorite actors. Freakazoid, season one. I mean, it's Freakazoid, dude. What are you talking about? Just think. Oh. Galaxina. Galaxina. How do you say that one? I think it's Galaxina. 
dude, I mean, look at this lady here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, dude, what? Even my wife was like, yeah, she's hot. Then we got Gang Bangs in New York, which, I mean, if you haven't seen that, then, well, get with the program. Ghost Dog also have this one on another format, but look at that blue case. How dope is that? Bet you don't know where that come from, did you? One of them Lord of the Rings trash ass movies. I'm just fucking with you, man. Chris just got him on 4K. I got to talk a little shit. Uh, Lord of the Rings stuff's fire. My wife loves that stuff. Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds original. No Nick Cage in that one. The Good, the Bad, the Ugly, and Hang 'em High. I love you some Clint Eastwood. I don't fuck with John Wayne, but I like Clint Eastwood. Uh, the Good, the Bad, the Weird. I've seen this one once, but I haven't opened this one yet. Oh my lord, this is a big stack of movies, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I'm having a lot of fun. I know this is a long video, but uh, I appreciate y'all's time. This is going to be a long series because I got a lot of stuff, man. I got a lot of video, a lot of movies. And I don't even have like an extensive collection. I know some dudes that have like 15,000 movie collections. I don't know them personally, but I know of them. They've got like 15,000 movie collections. And, uh, they did like a series of, of videos. Each one was like two hours long and they had like 12 of them. Uh, this will be nothing like that, I don't think. This will be four, probably hour roughly videos, maybe a little longer on some of them. This one will probably be one of the longer ones because I'm going through all of my non-horror stuff. Anyways, let's keep going. Green Street Hooligans. My wife's, uh, man, she, I think she would probably fillet Charlie Hunnam in front of me and I would let her probably. It's a handsome fella, but uh, that's on her, he's on her list. But uh, I love that dude, and Sons of Anarchy is amazing. But this is one of the best, like, hooligan movies I've ever seen. Uh, let's see those. Okay. The Hangover, the first one, because the second one and the third one aren't that good. Ooh, High Fidelity, man. John Cusack, low key, one of my favorites as well. High Fidelity is a great movie if you're a music fan. Holy shit, I didn't even know I had this. Highlander, R.I.P. Sean Connery. I want to watch this one like ASAP. Damn, I gotta put some movies on my list, man. I gotta get my some stuff to watch. Hoodlum, just picked this one up recently. Dude, Howard the Schmuck. Gotta love that stuff. Uh, Iron Man One, my favorite Marvel movie. I think it's the one that started all of it, right? Uh, Takashi Miike, Izo. Dude, fucking Takashi Miike is wild, dude. We we're just talking about that full on Shopcast. <clears throat> like earlier tonight and this one coming up here we got Judge Dredd come on dude classic and we got Kill William Uno and Dos uh, yeah we were just talking about these two movies I need to get these on Blu-ray I'm gonna go get a uh, what do you call it like a postal box so if anybody wants to send me anything whatever like a letter or a picture of a wiener or a ninja or a booby shot or like, the, like that fat dude doing the praying hands by the other fat dudes with a butt crack showing at the Magic the Gathering. Something like that. I'm done with that. Or a t-shirt. Or some SARS. Whatever, man. You know. The Killing Room. Excellent, excellent thriller. Man, what a great movie. Dude, I got a lot of good movies. King Arthur. This is a phenomenal flick. Um, which this has got, uh, what's her name in it? No, uh, not Clive Owen. That dude's cool, though. Keira Knightingly. Is it no? It's Knight. It's Kira Knightley. Wow, I didn't know that. It's Knightley. I've been saying her name wrong for my well, ever since I know her. Kira Knightley. This is a really great movie. It's probably one of her best. That one at Domino. Um. Oh, King of New York. Christopher Walken and Larry Fishburne. And King of the Pen. Underrated comedy. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Come on, dude. That's the revival of Robert Downey Jr. right there. That was right before Iron Man 1. Knock around, guys. Again, young Vin Diesel. Got me all messed up over here. The Last Dragon. Better than the second The Last Dragon. Leon the Professional. Good stuff. With this, the extra edition. I've got another version of this, too. But I, I like to keep the cool ones, you know. Lock, top, lock stock, and two smoking barrels. With a weird slipcover. But... I don't know. Cool. Great movie. Oh, here's a regular version of it. Lock up with Stallone. Man, this was a pain in my ass to find. Um, 
London. I know nothing about this. Why do I have this? It's got Chris Evans, Jason Statham, Jessica Biel, and Joy Bryant. A film about love and her victims. London. Not the city. The woman. A very hot woman. I'm in. Now that his passionate but stormy relationship with London, played by Jessica Biel, has ended, Sid, played by Chris Evans, has become a total wreck. While numbing himself senseless with drugs and alcohol, I'm in. He discovers London's friends are throwing her a going away bash. Furious over her plans, Sid crashes the party with his dealer, Jason Statham, uh, in tow, hoping to stop his ex-love from leaving town no matter what the cost. I don't know, it's probably alright. You know what? I might want to watch that one and do a review. If it sucks ass, I'll throw it away. I don't know. Oh, I see some good stuff coming up. <gasps> Ooh, that was a dude. It's a caramel. I love these things. It's a Werther's. I had, used to keep my bag on the shelf. So it must have fallen out. Um, ooh, here's another good young Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie. That's called The Lookout. Really great flick with uh, Jeff Daniels in it. The Losers. Guilty pleasure. It's like the A Team, but better. Lost in Translation with uh, oh Scarlett Jojo Hansen. Man, she's so stupid good looking, isn't she? Love in a 45. Now that. With old pinchy face Rene Zellweger, my goodness. Made. Good stuff. Magnolia. If you didn't respect the cock, I'd get rid of this. Man, is it? Yeah, man. I almost said man of fire. Man on fire with Denzel. Up until recently, Denzel was my favorite actor. He is my second favorite actor of all time. That probably will never change. Mall rats, dude. Hell yeah. Top tier Kevin Smith, dude. Mean Girls with a pink case because I rule. Memories of Murder. I need to upgrade this to Blu-ray. That's a phenomenal movie. Uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Every woman in this movie is hot. Dude, what a weird movie. This is pretty good though. My kiddos liked it. Moon, one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Sam Rockwell is a very underrated actor. Uh, the Mummy Collector Set. Dude, again, Indiana Jones. This is just a superior version. Murder in the First. I've never watched this, but it's got Kevin Bacon and Christian Slater with Gary Oldman. How could this be bad? My name is Mud. I mean, my name is Bruce. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool and it's all shiny. They got me with the shiny. I'm like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> Fucking idiot, huh? All right. Never Been Kissed. Oh, it's okay, Drew. David Arquette. That guy's awesome. Natural Born Killers. Carlos Condit's favorite movie. Oh, brother, why don't you shut up now? Good movie. Old School. Better than the new school. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Dude, is this the one where he's like, are you a Mexican or a Mexican? And then uh, Danny Trejo's like, I'm a Mexican. I think that's this one. If it is, that's awesome. Ong Bak and Thai Warrior. Really great movie. Probably his best movie. Uh, Denzel, Out of Time. Oof, even Mendez badass is in this movie. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Takashi Katano, Outrage, Way of the Yakuza. Uh, I saw this one once on a different platform, not DVD. Obviously, this, this one's closed. This is a good movie. Mag Magnet makes some good shit. Especially their foreign stuff. Uh, Pale Rider. Clint Eastwood. Come on, bro. You know what? Dude, I haven't seen this since I was a kid. I should watch this one soon, too. This is this is good shit. And I got Paul. I just really like this movie. Dude, this is bananas. Y'all just wait. I'm getting there. We already... Oh, we're probably... Almost... Yeah, we're about halfway through. Ooh, it's gonna be a long one. My goodness. I am immortal. <laughs> Wish I was immortal. No, I don't. That'd be boring. Yeah, I kind of do. All right. Pool Hall Junkies. Really great film. Shout out to Jeremy Green. He loves that movie. The Princess Bride, another great film. The Punisher, 
the greatest film. Dude, this is Dolph. I can't say that dude's name. Is it Dolph Lundgren? Ugh, I hate that name. But this is this is the best Marvel movie of all time. That's a factual statement, by the way. Rambo, four of them. Better than one of them. Akira Kurosawa's Ran. <laughs> uh, Red Eye. It's actually a really good movie. Rachel McAdams and uh, Killian Murphy. Good movie, not great. Oh, Reign of Crotch Fire. My goodness, Matthew McConaughey, you handsome devil. I've been super gay in this video. What's up with that, guys? Reservoir Dongs. Oh, I did it again. Uh, this is a great movie. <laughs> People are like, could be gay, man. No, I don't want to. I'm comfortable being silly. You silly guy. <laughs> Ooh, Rafifi. Have y'all seen Rafifi? Damn, it's a good movie. It's an old crumb. I mean, I can't even. It's been so long since I've watched this. I need to rewatch Rafifi. This is a classic. Ramper Stamper. Russell Crowe being super racist. I feel like that's kind of his get. Oh, your boy gonna get sad. Rumble in the Bronx. Love you, Dad. Miss you, man. Uh, runaway train. Kind of like speed, but on a train. Rushmore. Kind of like speed, but in a school and not action. Based in Houston, or filmed in Houston. The Salt Sea. Man. This might be one of Val Kilmer's best movies ever. That's a good drug movie. Uh, Sonny Chiba, Samurai. It's Sonny Chiba. Dude, Showgirls. Yeah, buddy. Remember when that girl went all crazy on Saved by the Bell and was doing them pills? I was like, what up, girl? I'll sell you some pills. Starship Troopers 3. That's the kind of quality shit I'm into. Step Brothers. Again, quality. Stone Cold with the Boz. Looking like Terminator 2 ripoff. Man, what a badass movie. This is a biker movie with Brian Bosworth. It's the worst fucking movie of all time and it's amazing. It's expensive too. Street Kings. I love this movie. Enough said. Oh, bro, Surf Ninjas, dude. Come on, bro. And a green Xbox box. Suicide Kings, another great movie. It's got the little kid from E.T. in it. He's all grown up. Look at that. Look at that. Elliot, no. That guy's a pussy. Jay Moore. Uh, fuck, it's got a bunch of people in it. Sean Patrick Flannery, Christopher Walken, Jay Moore, Henry Thomas, Dennis Leary, Johnny Galecki, Jeremy Sisto, and Laura Sun. I can't say that. Laura Sun Giacomo? Whatever. It's a really, really great movie. I've been watching this one since it was on VHS. Ooh, Sukiyaki, Sukiyaki Western Django. Spaghetti Western from, uh, I think this is Mike, isn't it? Yeah, Takashi Mike. Quentin Tarantino co signed this one. And this is a, like a real pretty steelbook. Check that out. OG DVD steelbook. What you know about that shit, folks? What you know about that? What you know about that? Get T.I. Fuck you up, son. Drive to Houston and smack you around. Dude. Bro. Super Mario Brothers in a blue box. From Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Schwangers. No, Swingers. Sorry. Swingers are the things they put on cars. No, no. Yeah. Whatever. Swingers are ugly ass rims. <clears throat> Yo, I didn't know I could talk. You know what? That's a lie. Hold on one second. Who, buddy? Your boy thirsty than a son of a bitch. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fuck yeah. Dude, Tequila Sunrise. Man, Mel Gibson's badass. That guy had the best hair. Jet Li. The one. That is a good flick. To die for Nicole Kidman. Oh, she's so good looking. Oof. To live and die in LA. Man, this is a good movie. 
William Freakin. Man, what a great flick. Willem Dafoe is probably the best movie. Training Day. Denzel, baby! With Ethan Hawke. With Ethan Kako. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six copies. Get them while you can, folks. Because Disney's going to fucking edit this. They're already dead. It's not on Disney+. Plus. It's not on 4K. It might be on Blu-ray. And uh, the next release of this is going to be edited. They're taking some RDJ stuff out with this blackface thing because they're fucking stupid. Bunch of fucking pussies, man. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. True Lies. Ooh, buddy. Another Schwarzenegger flick. Um... Unknown, Blockbuster exclusive, Jim Caviezel, Greg Kinnear, Bridget Monahan, Joe Pantoliano, man, how do you say that? Joe Pantoliano, Pantoliano, Joe Pantoliano, good grief, Barry Pepper, Jeremy Sisto, and Peter Stormare. Wow, that's a big cast. I've seen this one, but I can't remember what it was about. Oh, Blockbuster exclusives, that's my jam right there. Dude, very bad things. This is a great movie. This is like The Hangover before The Hangover. Wanted. Terrible, terrible movie, and I love every second of it. Waterworld. Even worse movie, and I like it even more. The Way of the Gun. Fantastic movie. Benicio Del Toro is my favorite dude. Weirdsville. Come on, folks. Oh, we're almost done with the DVDs, guys. We're getting there, man. We're almost finished. Who is Cletus Tout? I don't know, but this has got Christian Slater, Richard Dreyfus, Portia de Rossi, and RuPaul, and Tim Allen. Come on, bro. Wolfhound. Ah, it's probably so bad. I've never watched it. Conan the, Conan the Barbarian meets Lord of the Rings for $25,000 budget. Let's do it. <laughs> Wonderland. I haven't watched this one yet either, but it's, it looks like it's got a penis in it somewhere. Young Guns. Excellent flick. <laughs> Young Guns 2. Twice as good. And Zathura. This is like, uh, this one's the one that's like Jumanji, right? Yeah, this is like Jumanji. Alright. I'm gonna try to blast through these Blu-rays because my, 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 uh, memory card's filling up. <clears throat> and you guys have been excellent sports at hanging tight with me for this long. That's pretty cool, man. go with 007 Quantum of Solace, 007 Skyfall on Blu-ray. This is my Blu-rays, by the way. 007 Spectre, 44-inch chest. I thought I was going to say something else, yo. Ooh, Keanu Reeves, 47 Ronin. Freaking awesome movie. Uh, 1917 on 4K, Apocalypto on Blu-ray. Avatar. I love Avatar. I don't care what people say, man. I know people hate on that movie, but that's because they're stupid. <laughs> black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down, Blue. Uh, Baby Driver. Oh, man, what a good movie. Baby Driver. Big Lebowski. Better movie. Well, I don't know if it... Yeah, it's better. But I really do love Baby Driver. Big Trouble in Little China. Bill and Ted times dos. Black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down below on 4K. Oh, dude, Blade of the Immortal. Sweet Takashi Miike film. The 100th film by Takashi Miike. Blood Simple. Wait, did I have that on DVD? I sure did. Cool, I can take that one to the store. Cool, that'll work. The Blues Brothers on 4K. I don't know if I even care about You know what? I don't care about that one. Take it to the store. I also have Casino Royale, and I forgot to put it with 007s, so we will fix that. Bounty Killer. Probably the worst movie of all time, and I can't wait to watch it. Ooh, the whole Born set. I've already seen all these a hundred times, but man, on Blu-ray, a whole set of them? Come on. It's like 30 bucks. Oh, Brawl and Cellbot 99. Amazing movie, and it looks awesome on 4K. Brooklyn's Finest, that's a really good movie too. You can probably get an idea of what I'm into by watching all this stuff. Uh, we got Bullet, 
to Steve McQueen. Man, Capone with Tom Hardy. I don't know that I like this movie, but I've watched it. It's fucking weird. You know what? I don't care about that movie. Huh, this is uh, therapeutic. Ooh, Chronicle. Best, one of my favorite con uh, superhero movies of all time. Cliffhanger. Dude, come on, Stallone. Huh? Stallone out here with some short shorts on. Boy, Cobra. Dude, Stallone, look at that cover. Dude. So Stallone. <clears throat> Cold Pursuit, because we'll, uh, uh, Liam Neeson's better than you. And he has a particular set of skills. Conan. Yes. Two movie collection. Contraband with Mark Wahlberg, dude. Why do I own this movie? Dark Angel with Dolph Lundgren. This was filmed in Houston. Awesome movie. Uh, Dark Knight Trilogy. Well, this shouldn't have to be explained. Ooh, I'm getting tired. Deadpool 4K. Three Chuck Norris movies. <laughs> Three more Chuck Norris movies. Oh my goodness. Well, there was Delta Force in both of those, but whatever. The Devastator. It's a sexual movie. Donnie Darko. Chris is probably irritated about this one. Sorry, dude. Dude, double impact. My guy, John Claude. Dragged Across Concrete. Amazing movie. Eastern Promises, also amazing. I don't think I have anything but amazing movies, if I was to be honest about it. Empire Records, also a great movie if you're into mu music. Not on Rex Manning Day. <laughs> Equilibrium, whoo buddy, that's a fun movie. Better than The Matrix. <laughs> Escape from New York. Jeez Louise. I almost made a big mess. Escape Plan. That's actually a really good movie with Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Escape Plan 2 with Bautista and Stallone. Also a great movie. The Fanatic. The best movie of 2019 that's not called Parasite. The Fifth Element. Good flick. Fight Club. Oh, that's Edward, Edward uh, Norton. Ooh, Takashi Miike's First Love. That's a really good movie too. Force of Nature. Uh, I don't know if this is any good or not, but it's got Mel Gibson, so it's probably amazing. The French Connection. Ooh, the French Kiss. Come on, Gene Hackman. Fringe, season one. I love this show. The Gentleman. I love Matthew McConaughey. In a super weird way. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh, jeez Louise. I almost dropped my whole stack of movies. Dude, I cannot believe that I caught that. Goodfellas. Pretty good movie, man. It's an excellent movie. Goonies. Not as good as Goodfellas. Guns Akimbo. Better than Goonies, in my opinion. Ooh. Takashi Miike. Hari Curry. This was a controversial one in my, with my buds. Oh, man. We're almost done. Thanks for hanging out with me so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like my interlude music? And we're back. Heat oh, in my underwears. Hell or high water. I like. I actually like this movie quite a bit. Hitman, unrated, better than High Life. You can't go go wrong with that movie. Um, I don't feel at home in this world anymore. One of my favorite movies that ever came out on Netflix. It's amazing. I Kill Giants, also amazing. The Ides of March, I haven't watched this one yet, but it's got George Clooney and my boyfriend, Ryan Gosling. In. Is this one, how do you say this? Is it in Bruges? Whatever, that's what I'm calling it. People are like, you're dumb. And I'm like, I know. Oh, dude. Inception, lenticular cover. Hulk, lenticular cover. Oh, it's a horrible movie. Damn, I might have to get rid of that one. Inglorious Bastards, my least favorite Tarantino flick. Interstellar on 4K. Super fucking confusing movie, but I liked it. Oh, dude, 
do. Jack Reacher. Tom Cruise at his finest. Fucking dudes up. I read those books, man. Chance Hunt and Bob reboot. Jingle all the way, motherfuckers. Best Christmas movie. It's not called Black Christmas. Jojo Rabbit. That's a good movie, man. Jojo Rabbit. The Scarlett Johansson is low-key in a bunch of great movies. Jumper. Oof, I like that one. The King of Comedy. Not sure how I feel about that one. Knives Out. That's a fantastic movie. Kong, Skull Island. The best King Kong movie of all time. The Labyrinth. The best King Kong movie of all time. Uh, Schwarzenegger's Last Stand. That's a really good movie. I watched Maggie recently with Schwarzenegger. That was a ter terribly like sad movie, but I really enjoyed it. The Last Starfighter. I can't remember if I've seen this one or not. I think I have. I think so. I think it was a long time ago, though. Law Abiding Citizen. Super good movie. Layer Cake. Not sure, but I've seen it. Legend. Josh's favorite movie. We're going super fast now. Super fast, super fast. Leon the Professional on Blu-ray. What the fuck? Oh well. Lucky Day. This is not that great, but it's not that bad. Lucky Number Slevin. Now that is a good movie. And no, it's not on HD DVD. It's just in a red case because it's awesome looking. Mad Max Fury Road. I think I uh, subconsciously knew I didn't like that movie that much. I threw it. The Magnificent Seven Collection on Blu-ray. Awesome. Awesome little set. The Man from Nowhere. Who is a good movie? The Man with the Iron Fist and The Man with the Iron Fist 2. Excellent movies. If you don't like those movies, you're dumb. My mom's like, excuse me? Masters of the Universe. The best movie of all time. Bar none. Memento. I can't remember if this one's any good or not. Ooh, Mother. That's a good movie, too. Not as good as some of the other ones, but good. Motherless Brooklyn. One of my favorite movies of last year. 2019. The Mummy. Why do I have this on Blu-ray if I've already got it on DVD? Probably because I need to get rid of the DVD. Ninja Assassin. The Blood Bee and CG was a disappointment. Otherwise, this is like a 10 out of 10. Nude Nuns with Big Guns. This is a 10 out of 10. Pacific Rim on 4K. One of my favorite movies. I love Pacific Rim. And my wife's boyfriend's in it. Parasite on 4K and Parasite on Blu-ray. I just want to support that movie because it's my favorite movie. Uh, one of my... Let's see. Top... Top... Probably top five of all time. The Phantom. Billy Zane style. Come on, baby. Point Break. This actually might be the best movie of all time. Polar. Oh, that's a good one. Mads Mikkelsen kills it. Vanessa Hudgens is stupid fine. The Prestige on 4K. Oh, that's a fantastic movie. Wait a minute. Huh. Whatever. Prisoners. Oh, that's a good one. I'm not tripping here. Oh, I'm not tripping. Cool. Pulp Fiction. Dude, that's a good movie. Push. This one, I think this one was. Dude, Chris Evans makes some shit movies. That guy's, I hate Chris Evans. I don't hate him. I don't know him. But I don't like him. R.I.P.D. <laughs> but I like it. The Raid uh, Collection. Both movies. Fantastic shit. Uh, Rambo, Stallone. Pretty good. Uh, Red Sonia. I haven't watched this one yet. I don't know if it's any good or not. Probably not. Rain of Fire on Blu-ray. I just took, put the DVD in my pile for the store. Ugh, last shelf, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness gracious, it's okay. That is definitely there. Man. This is an exhausting series of films. My goodness. I'm only in the first one and I'm freaking wore out. Is this as exhausting for y'all as it is for me to sit here and watch me do all this shit? <laughs> all right, this is the last show, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do it. So we've got 
Ooh, reindeer games. Dude, 10 out of 10, son. Repo Men. This is the one I thought you were talking about, Josh. This is better than Repo Man. I'm, I don't, I'm kidding. I think I'm kidding. I don't know. The rhythm section. Actually, quite good, man. Jude Law is awesome. Road Warrior. Mel Gibson, man. Smoking motherfuckers. Like they blunts. Uh, Robert Rodriguez double feature. Hell yeah. El Mariachi and Desperado. Runaway Jury, a great book. A uh, great movie, even better book. And that book is phenomenal. That movie's great, though. Safety Not Guaranteed. This is a pretty good movie. Shadow 4K. Um, this is like a visual reference movie. It's not the best movie ever, but it's, it's fucking beautiful. Ugh. I'm trying to get done, man. I've got about 15 minutes. Small Town Crime, phenomenal flick. If you're in a small town crime, uh, Smoking Aces one and two. Um, we just watched both of these, my wife and I. The first one's amazing, at least in my opinion. But the second one, that's a weird fucking movie. Ooh, Solo, my favorite Star Wars movie. On 4K, Spawn, my favorite Star Wars movie. Spotlight, I can't remember what this one. Michael Keaton's so damn good though. Starship Troopers, ooh shit, oh shit. The Sting, oh that's a good one, that is a good one. Paul Newman, Robert Redford, man what a great movie. Super 8, another really, really great movie. All right, Taken, that's a phenomenal flick. The first one, the second one, the third one, whatever. Tango and Cash, that's a really good movie. That's a really decent movie. Terminal Velocity, Charlie Sheen before he was Tiger Blood Made Up. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. If you haven't seen that movie, you really should. It's phenomenal. Top Gun 4K, kiss my ass if you don't like that. Transformers, the first one. I love Shia LaBeouf. He's one of my top favorite actors ever. I love that guy. Triple Threat, I just wanted to support Michael Bisbing by buying this, so I bought it. I haven't watched it yet. I should watch that one. True Lies, uh, Blu-ray, in HD. True Romance, literally my favorite movie of all time. This is my favorite movie of all time. Of all time. Number one, True Romance. You're so cool. Of all time. I think it would probably go True Romance, Terrifier, Scream. I don't know what else after that. Uncut Gems, uh, no, no. True Romance, Terrifier, Scream, uh, Parasite, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Top five, my favorite movies of all time. Uncut Gems, Adam Sandler, I believe this one is uh, Blu-ray. Oh, it's got digital, I should give that digital away. Usual Suspects, come on, man. Uh, v for Vendetta, Watchmen, and Constantine. Dude, that's awesome. Valhalla Rising, Mads Mikkelsen, uh, not the best movie. Not the worst movie, but not the best movie. Uh, War on Everyone. Michael Pena's dope, but Alexander Skarsgård's dumb as fuck. I hate that guy. You know what? The Warriors. That's a good movie. Watched that one with the wife recently, too. We Own the Night. Oh, man, Joaquin, Mark Wahlberg, Eva Mendez. That's a good shit. Uh, Whiplash. Man, I can't hardly talk about this movie, so I'm not gonna. The Witch with a slipcover. And we are down to our final handful. The Wolf of Wall Street. Damn, that's a good movie. That's probably my favorite Jonah Hill movie. The Wrestler. I actually haven't watched this yet. And thanks to Chris, we have the Star Wars original trilogy despecialized in high def Blu ray. Bam! So that leaves us with 13 minutes. We're going to talk for 13 more minutes, okay, folks? So give me one second. Let me get something to drink. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but thank you. If you've made it this far, that's amazing. That's an hour-long video. That's bananas. That's a shitload of movies. But we have three more to go. That's part one of four of my entire movie collection. Thank you so much for coming and checking it out. Uh, if it looks all weird and stuff, my bad. This is new to me with the standing up, the moving around, and talking and stuff. Not the talking. I talk way too much. But uh, thank you so much for joining me. I very much appreciate your time. Uh, I look forward to any input you got. Hit me up in the comments, folks. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Come on, 31 fam. We can do this, man. Y'all have a great night, great day, whatever, man. 2020 is almost over with, folks. You got this. Have a good night. Peace.